Hi, I'm Dismal and Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Today, we're gonna work out our chest in only 10 minutes. That's right, a 10 minute chest workout using resistance bands. Now, let me show you the type of resistance bands that I'm using today. These bands are made by Tioi. These are the bands that receive the number one spot in my bands of 2020, and I've been using them ever since. They're great quality bands. You don't have to use these bands. You can use any other type of tube style bands that you want to use. Those are the ones that are going to come with the handles and the attachments. Now, before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and check out my Instagram. I have a lot of these workouts in bite-sized chunks, so you can use them as you're working out along in the gym or at home. Now, this is your first time checking out the channel. This is the first of a series of 10 minute workout videos. So go ahead and check out those videos so you can get your entire body worked out throughout the week. Now that we've got all that covered, let's go ahead and get started. Before I start my workout, I like to use gloves. This prevents those calluses from happening in your hands. I like to make sure that I put those on. And we're going to work out our chest. So what we want to do is begin with the warm up by expanding our chest out. And we're going to come in close, squeeze and contract. I'm just going to come back. And we're going to come in, squeeze. And contract. I'm just going to go slowly. I've got four to six of these. Now that we're all warmed up, let's begin. All right, so we're gonna begin by getting our door stopper and we're gonna put it at shoulder height. Take a look at this, shoulder height, all right? And we're gonna grab our bands by the handles. And then we're gonna make sure that our hands come out wide like this, you see? Completely straight and wide. And we're gonna come forward and squeeze, just like how we did in the warm up. Two. And we're gonna do 15 of these. Three. You wanna keep those arms straight. Squeeze that chest. Keep those feet planted. Sit here for 30 seconds. Now the main thing with this exercise is that you want to make sure that your arms are coming like underneath. What you don't want to do is tilt them this way and go over the top because it turns it from a chest exercise to a shoulder. So to keep it a chest, you want to go underneath and squeeze. This is really gonna help us with the middle portion of our chest. All right, so now we're gonna grab the bands and we're still gonna have it at shoulder level, but this time we're gonna come back. See how my elbows are bent? It was straight before, it's bent now. And we're gonna come in and squeeze. So we're pushing and we're squeezing. And I want you to have the feeling of like your biceps are trying to touch each other. You want to get them close, like they're trying to touch and cross those wrists. About 15 or 20 of these.
All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and rest for 30 seconds. We're gonna add some resistance. So with the previous exercise, I had on 35 resistance bands. Now I'm putting on a 15. And I believe the other one is a 20. All right. So we're right at our 30 seconds here. And what you wanna do is make sure that you put your door fitting at the top. Your door is nice and secure. You wanna grab the bands. And like the previous one, this time we're gonna go in a downward motion. So we're gonna go down and squeeze. This is gonna get the lower portion of our chest. About 15 of these. Give ourselves a rest here. And I'm gonna get you prepared for this next exercise. We're gonna go ahead and put our door stopper here at the bottom. And I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take off my 15. And we're gonna hit that chest at a different angle and get that upper portion. So I don't want you to put this directly on the bottom. You may have seen this in previous videos. What we're gonna do is put it towards like a little bit below midway. What you see is your doorknob here is almost about two feet. That's how low I want you to get it. And I have on a 20 and a 35. And what we're going to do, you're going to come forward. All right. And you're going in an upward motion from parallel. We're trying to contract right here. The upper portion. your might. Come on. Two more. Doing 15. All right. Let's see, take a look here. 30 second rest. And then from there, we're gonna go into some good old fashioned push-ups. So I wanna get your, get your body ready. And you wanna make sure that you're aligned. Now, if you're a person who are just starting out, you have a weak upper body, you can begin this on your knees. I'm gonna show you both of those. And you're gonna do this until failure, all right? So there's no set rep there. All right. So you're gonna get up in the push-up position. All right. Make sure that the, you squeeze your legs, keep your back straight, and you're gonna go up and down. Now, if you're just starting out, or you have a weaker upper body, you wanna get right here on your knees. And just go up and down. 
to a failure till you can't do anymore. And you finish a little bit early. Just go ahead and give yourself a little rest, 30 second rest there. Got about a minute and a half left. Push out this last little bit here. Don't give up now. All right. So whether you're on your knees or you're not, I just want you to go until failure. this time left go ahead and check out the rest of those workouts and get your 10 minutes in for today thank you for watching <laughs>